Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Sellers. This is Dot, my rescue puppy who's getting her bone. And this is our brief daily message of hope. We're at the end of another week, and I hope it's been a great week for you. And I pray that you are able to experience uh, the joy and the wonder and the majesty of the Lord's presence among us. Uh, it's, it's in that context I want to share a question I, I got from one of my uh, students, confirmation students, uh, uh, about our thoughts. You know, we spend a lot of time in our own thoughts. There's no question about it. Uh, and a good bit of our time, perhaps uh, half of the time, uh, we engage in negative self-talk. We beat ourselves up in our thoughts. And my student asked if... Uh, does God really hear our thoughts? And the answer from Holy Scripture alone is a resounding yes. Uh, well over a hundred times in, uh, in Scripture, uh, we give it, get indications very strongly and directly uh, that God knows what we think. I, I jotted down a couple of them this morning. Uh, Psalm 94, uh, verse 11, The Lord knows the thoughts of man and they are but a breath. Uh, Psalm 139, uh, the psalmist says, Lord, you know when I sit down and when I rise up, you discern my thoughts from afar. Hebrews chapter four, verse 12, for the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to, to the division of soul and of spirit and of marrow and joints and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. 1 John 3, uh, chapter uh, verse 20, For whenever our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart, and he knows everything. Jesus, on multiple occasions, uh, recognized the thoughts of uh, people around him. He entered into almost every uh, situation knowing beforehand uh, what the intentions and the thoughts of the people were. Yes, God knows our thoughts. Um, and the, the uh, question that you usually follows that is, well, what about Satan? Does he know what we're thinking? And from Scripture, it's a resounding no. There is no evidence anywhere in Scripture that the angels, either the angels of God or the fallen angels, uh, can discern our thoughts. Now, angels have been around a long time, a lot longer than we are, uh, have been here. And they hear what we say, and they are a pretty good judge of our behavior. Uh, they can almost predict what we're going to do because they uh, can uh, follow the, the words that we're saying out loud and our attitudes. But as far as our thoughts, God is in our thoughts. I tell people all the time that, that the Lord God has set up a branch office of heaven right up here in your thoughts. And you're connected to him uh, in, a, in a way that is much faster than the fastest Wi-Fi speed on earth. Talk to him. Go into your thoughts and check it out yourself. God knows what you think. Uh, he knows everything about you. He created you after all. And when you have questions about uh, what your uh, mental processes are or how to respond in a certain situation, guess what you can do? You can go into your thoughts and connect with the Lord who is there, and he can show you. Uh, and remember, he loves you, and he's given you his promise to be with you always. And yes, he knows what you're thinking, and he's not angry with you or disappointed or frustrated. He loves you with his whole heart. Talk to him. I was thinking of uh, so many songs uh, from my era, the 60s and 70s and 50s, that had to do with the thought processes. This was one that Carol King and Jerry Goffin wrote uh, that the Shirelles took to uh, the top of the charts in the early 1960s.
worry about what other people are thinking and we panic and we still can't read minds, but God can read ours and know that he reads yours, he knows you, and that he loves you. I hope you have a blessed day today, and God willing, uh, Dot and I hope to see you here again tomorrow.